by Colm Kearney uh, from Shaheen's outside Bohola. Um, this morning for the cycle I was up at about 3 o'clock, um, get up, uh, get breakfast, try and get out of the house without waking everybody else up because that causes problems. Um, I suppose last night most of the preparation will be done is get the bike ready, check it over, make sure it's right, get it into the car. Um, and get some food and um, try and get as much prep clothes and um, get ready for getting out this morning to get out as quick as possible. So get to bed last night around 11 o'clock, up this morning for three to be down here for four to start cycling to Ackle today which is about 100 kilometers and 100 back. All in all it'll probably take goes in about seven hours. Um, weather today is warm, so I suppose dressed um, light um, with some layers that we can take off if it gets warmer later on. This morning it's probably 13 degrees later on today, we'd expect it to probably be 17, 18, 19 degrees. So it's important to have the right clothing to be able to layer down and I suppose the right um, drinks to keep hydrated on the bike and uh, some food along the way. I suppose you might ask why would you do this, getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning to cycle. Um, we're taking on a, a huge um, challenge in cycling from Land's Inn to John O'Groats. Um, need to put in the miles now, put in the time now because there's no point travelling over there um, in June and blowing up on the side of the road. So to be able to get up this time of the morning, why four o'clock, why three o'clock, getting up, it's, I suppose, to try and balance the cycle and the training with family life, that you're not gone all day, that you get out early in the morning, that you get home, that you're around to do something during the rest of the day. Yes, you could head out at nine o'clock this morning and not get back to 6 p.m. this evening, but, um, it wouldn't be feasible and not realistic enough for me anyway so it's important to get out early and get home early and get it done. Why would you take on a challenge like this? Um, I suppose cycling maybe the last five six years you can get up and you go out and then enjoy going out on recreational cycles two three hours but you know you're always looking for something else to challenge you in some other way and to do something different and you know these long distance endurance type cycles it, it is very different whether it be when we miss into Malin cycling through the night whether it's the long distance doing 350 400 kilometers a day it's just a different challenge it's something else to challenge yourself it's something else to aim for and it's it's, it's something different